Hey, my, my mighty friends, Tim here. Um, now, if you don't know, I love Batman Beyond. It is, if not my favorite animated series of all time, I'm a big fan. I did a, um, you sh I did a like rant, uh, uh, Tim rants on um, wanting it back, and it was just a very, very just been a big fan. It's, it's a part of my life. It's my introduction to Batman. Yes, Terry McGinnis, not Bruce Wayne. Terry McGinnis is actually the introduction, my introduction to Batman. Now, I'm going to do a top five on f each three seasons. So this will be fun. Starting with Rebirth Parts 1 and 2. The man, the introduction to this episode, to the first episode at least, um, the first episode is just phenomenal. We got Bruce Wayne um, wanting to go back, you know, like um, seeing if he can still have it, and it's it doesn't end up, it doesn't end good, you know. Alfred has passed. Um, uh, Commissioner Gordon has passed. Uh, James Gordon, uh, you know, um, uh, Barbara is now the commissioner and everything has changed. Years have passed. And then we get a kid named Terry McGinnis and, uh, and there, and then, you know, and, uh, so forth. Uh, the, the first half is, I think my favorite. The second half is amazing. We get, um, you know, the, uh, the death of Mr. McGinnis, Terry's father, and <laughs> um, just all, always loved this. And, uh, you know, just been a fan of this episode, always loved it. I really love this one, Dead Man's Hand. Uh, I think that... Um, for some reason in literature and in film, like more in literature, when the guy falls in love, you know, when the, the guy actually loves the villain and I, I'm just a sucker for that stuff. And, uh, you know, I really liked the overall thing. You find out Melanie is 10 and, you know, you, she's the daughter of, um, Royal and, um, you know, all of that stuff. I really, really dug this episode and just been a fan. Now, number three is, um, Disappearing Ink, which I really like this episode because we get Bruce Wayne, um, uh, using a new suit, a new bat suit and for a bunch of like bat fan you know bat fans etc whatever um dc fans and stuff it was a really cool thing to see you know like this old man whipping some ass um i like how uh we get to see ink come back uh vowing for revenge on terry and uh i really um it's funny that she wanted, she was going to attack Bruce as well, and like Bruce just kicks some ass. Like, very, very awesome episode. Big fan of this. It was one of the ones I remember watching a lot as a kid, uh, like all the time. It would just always come on, and uh, I always loved this one. Number two goes to Blackout. This is the first appearance of Ink, and. Ink is one of my favorite villains uh, for, for um, Terry. I think my favorite is, um, oh my God, uh, there was a few, but I love that the, uh, the Lost Soul was really awesome and um, was uh, Bloodsport, I think is my favorite, you know, like the hunter or whatever, the one that kidnaps uh, Matt. I think he is my number one favorite villain because he's just so badass. But Ink is a close, you know, like close to those guys. Uh, just badass. Uh, very, she kind of has like that clay face kind of uh, 
origin, which is pretty sad. And uh, just been a big fan. Like, always, you know, um, liked what they did with that character. Now, my f- number one favorite episode of Batman Beyond Season 1 is Meltdown. My Lanta, this poor guy. It's got to be the most depressing storyline in all of DC, in my humble opinion. Like, you got Bruce Wayne losing his parents, of course. You got Clark Kent losing Pa Kent. Um, you know, Static Shock's uh, mother getting killed by by the ga- that, that gang, you know. Then you get Victor Freeze, was, which has... He had nothing to do with anything. He was just this, you know, it's kind of sad. And the way they they made it, a lot of people don't like this episode. It is my favorite of the first season because we get to see, um, we actually get to kind of see this cure kind of happen. But in the end, it actually just malfunction. It's just, it's one of those really sad endings, but it's satisfying, you know. And uh, um, that's why it's my favorite episode of season one.